this video we are going to look at flux context as the name suggests now we can give a context image so that we can edit the image or refine the image like how we want it as you can see in the example this is the input image there is something on her face right so the next prompt is remove that thing from her face and now it's removed and now the prompt is like she is now taking a selfie in the street it's a lovely day out right and now as you can see it's uh, she, the same character is placed in that particular street and now it's snowing everywhere and it's covered in snow right so as you can see even after iterating it uh, through like four steps the character consistency is same throughout so that's why this model is really good and uh, even with the GPT's uh, image generation new model after two or three iteration the character consistency may not be that good but that's where this model comes in and uh, if you want the same throughout after any edits then this flux one context is the right model for you and uh, this is really good it can even work with the text as you can see here we have an image uh, you add me at beer right now it changed the prompt is like it changed that text to you had me at beer to you had me at context and as you can see that text changed exactly as per the requirement and if you see that and uh, the next prompt was like change the setting to a nightclub so uh, whatever you can visualize you can actually do with this model so a person taking a selfie with, with the sign in the background so as you can see the same uh, image and there is now a person in front of that background you can also switch between different camera angles as you can see the input image is like this woman now the next prompt is like tilt her towards the camera then make her laugh right so as you can see throughout these changes the camera angle changes but keeping the character consistent as you can see this is really good when you need it right so if you need a character consistency then you can use this model and then if you want targeted modification to your local image that you have then you can use this as well and so if you want to give a style and want to generate image in that style reference then you can do this uh, till now the best image model was recraft in order to have the style reference but now we can use flux as well and for speed you can use this from going through the documentation you can generate image under five seconds so it will take around three to five seconds to generate the image so it's really fast and this was like a creative example that i really like here as you can see this woman is hiding her face and the interesting prompt was extract only the skirt over a white background for a few style and as you can see that exact dress is now in like a white background and the next prompt was show me an extreme close-up of the fabric you can see how useful this is right for e-commerce product a listing and things like that and this is another style like input image is this one and you change the settings to daytime and it's keeping that same style right so this offers like two models as of now and the dev model is coming soon it's still not released as of today the two models are available for us to use using the flux context pro model and the flux context max model so the difference between these two like i think it's just a speed difference as you can see so if you want really lightning fast image generation then you can use context max and if you want the normal high quality edit you can use the context pro so how to test this out right uh, in order to test it you can just click on this try demo and it will ask you to sign up for a account i have already have an account here so i got 200 credits to, to test it out and now i have 88 credits left so as you can see this is an example of like a camera is closer to the cat these are the two angles right and now this is the given image and the prompt was camera is closer to the cat and who's now looking at the camera so the camera went closer and now the cat is now looking at the camera as you can see earlier the cat was looking not at the camera that's the change here and as you can see the same context applies 
the only change was the frog is now a panda and replace ultra with context as you can see everything else remained the same and without destroying that initial image it maintained that consistency so that's why this model is really good so here you have three options first you can generate an image if first if you want you can give like a reference image and you can switch from these models i would recommend you try with this model and there are different options as you can see it works with unlike openai's model which don't have really good aspect ratio this one has a lot of different aspect ratios that's why i really like this model and you can also change the number of images and the safety tolerance and you can also switch between different output formats like jpeg or png and you can keep the seeds based on your requirement so what i did right now initially i generated an image from scratch this was the this was the prompt a cute tiger eating a carrot and as you can see all these images this looks really uh, realistic and yeah and as you can see the it's like a cute little tiger and it feels real as well like the tiger is actually eating the carrot right then i then i took that image i clicked on this edit button then i changed the carrot to like ice cream right so that's the image uh, that's what i did and as you can see now the tiger is eating like a carrot ice cream and yeah uh, that's how all these four image generations look all looks really great it feels really real then i gave this image like an image of mr bean and i asked to change his suit to red right this was his initial suit color and now i changed it as you can see and not all the generations were great and this one had two heads but still the all the other images looks really great and yeah the character is also consistent throughout this was like a mistake then i wanted the same image i clicked on again edit like this then i prompted it make him like same guy with the sign board that says you don't even need to have this prompt like same guy because it already knows the reference image just give like a make him like have a sign board that says same dude with different suit and as you can see the spelling is also correct here same dude with different suit and in different format it has given the same image that's how you use it for you guys i'll just create like an image i'll just add like a ghibli style image here a beautiful woman standing in front of eiffel tower let that be our prompt i am not even giving the style but i have given the reference image now let's see whether it adopts that same ghibli style and as you can see we have four different image in ghibli style right and that's what i told you before like you don't have to specify the style you can just give that as a reference and now we can edit it right you can edit here and you can make her change um, anything that you want let's make this realistic let's make this image realistic and branded with the text soft reviewed so as you can see this one followed that prompt exactly with the, with the branding and this looks really realistic right the same girl turned into a realistic image as you can see so these are the four different images so if i download that it's around there is some pixelation but still the character consistency is same throughout like then you can use like an uh, upscaler to make this even better right so there is a slight pixelation here so that's how you use it and the other good thing is like you can also you can fill in details add or remove anything from the image and also expand right this is really good so suppose you generate an image from OpenAI is image generator which is 3 is to 2 aspect ratio right maybe you if you want you can convert that into a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio then you can easily come here and add that image I'll add like a short image here 
to expand it let's add let's add this mr bean same image so it expands to like um, we you can also adjust the height and width let it let's keep it landscape now it's it looks more like a square image if you want you can prompt it right so it's just optional it will figure out the rest of the image so the aspect ratio will be changed from a square image to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio see now that's changed we can select from different variations so that's how you work with the different options here you have like edit fill and expand i hope you learned something new if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching have a great day click that thumb and join the dream stay in the loop with the latest vibe hit that bell come on subscribe